Back on the program is Sam Alvey, who's going to be taking on Ramazan Imeyev coming up here at UFC Fight Night 118 on October 21st. Smiling Sam, how are you? I'm doing wonderful, sir. Awesome. Good. Yeah, loving life. I, I can tell you're always loving life, always having a good time, and you're always uh, taking fights. Um, I know this is a short notice uh, matchup, of course. Uh, you're coming, uh, you know, it's just less than a week uh, taking this fight. When did you actually find out about this matchup, and, and uh, how did this sort of all come together? Uh, Monday morning. I got a call Monday morning while I was practicing with the pro teams. And, hey, you want to take it? I said, sure. And at first we thought it was at 205. I said, yeah, awesome. Then they said it was 185, and there's a little bit of panic setting in. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's going to be a hell of a wake-up, but I, I'm going to get there. Excellent. And I should mention for our listeners, um, this is, we're recording this on October 11th, so we're like two days removed from you actually finding out about the fight. Um, is this your first time going to Poland? Uh, yeah, first time, first time in Poland. I'm bugging someone in Europe to fight me, and somebody finally said yes. Uh, so I couldn't turn it down, even though if it, even though it was short notice. And you like that? You like getting the frequent flyer miles and uh, you know racking up some traveling uh, during your you know MMA career? Because I know you're a guy who likes to travel a bit. I love traveling. I really do. I've never seen Poland. I'm going to stick around an extra day after the fight, spend some of my winnings, and uh, yeah, we'll go 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 home after that. So when are you uh, planning to fly out there? I, I'm leaving on Saturday. Oh, excellent. Okay, good. So you'll, you'll have a little bit of time there. Uh, let's talk about your last fight coming off a big win over Rashad Evans, a former champion, and you get the split decision. Um, how happy were you with your performance in that fight? Uh, you know, it was great. He, he had a good game plan, too. I didn't quite get to do everything I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to finish him, but uh, he, he played that, that lateral game real well. Uh, he tried to out wrestle me a little bit, and I, I think I did a real good job defending the takedown. Um, and I just I, I landed enough. I just didn't land the one big shot. Right. And, and were you surprised it went to a split? Uh, you know, between the two of you. Uh, no, I thought it was a very close fight. I, I was very relieved that the split went to me because I, like I said, I thought it was a close fight. It was closer than I wanted it to be. Um, so I'm I'm happy I walked away with getting get my hand raised. And let's talk about this matchup here. You're taking on uh, Miev, like I mentioned, off the top. He's got that 15-3 and record. Uh, did you know much about him before taking this fight, or you're just like, hey, sign me up. doesn't matter who it is. Hey, a fight's a fight. I'll beat anyone anywhere. Uh, so, no, I, don't, I, don't, I still don't know much about him. I know he was the M1 champ. I know he's a Sambo champion. So uh, I kind of got to defend from ankle stuff. Um, but they, just like everyone else, they, they fall just the same if I, if I get my hands on him. And you've been on a bit of a winning streak lately. I know, uh, you know, since the Theodora loss, anyways, you've only had the one loss in between there to Talos Latus. What do you sort of attribute that to? What do you think's been working for you in these last couple of fights? Uh, I just just been putting together. You know, what? I'll thank God. God's been watching my back for for the last little bit. Uh, so I, I'm very thankful for for my team and my my coaches and all that. And we've made some adjustments. And uh, I've been thankful for people to fight, fight me. Sometimes it's hard to get a fight, and uh, I, I, I'm I'm glad people have been willing to step up. And has it been the usual cast of characters at Team Quest? You know, Tom Galicchio, uh, you know, Jesse Taylor, I know sometimes stops there. Uh, what about, uh, uh, who else? Chris Curtis. Is Chris Curtis uh, training with you guys at all? Chris Curtis is out there. Uh, Sean Strickland, Dan Henderson still kicking around. So we've got a good group of guys, a uh, good group of guys my size, and then we got littler guys too. Uh, so, yeah, we've just been having a lot of fun. And I know it's been a couple months removed, but how excited were you to see Tom get to the UFC and get that fight on the finale? Oh, it was so well-deserved. He, he worked so hard. He put so much of his life and everything on, on the line he, he needed it you mentioned the cut i mean you wished it, this fight would have been at 205 do you have to sort of change things differently because of the fact you're traveling like will you try and cut more weight here and then maybe cut a little bit less there or is it the opposite how do you plan to do that uh my plan is i'm going to cut a lot of weight here and then when i get there i'm also going to cut a lot of weight and uh, it's, it's going to kind of be the plan i'm just just trying to lose as much as i can as fast as i can because i i was probably I, I was heavy or i am heavy Okay, fair enough. Um, how do you sort of, because I know, I know on the plane, uh, you, you really absorb water really well. Um, I guess you just kind of just bring as much water as you can on the plane and just sort of hope for the best? Uh, yeah, uh, I, and I'll ask the plate attendants to get, give me as much as they can. I'm going to try and down two, two gallons on the, on the flight over. Uh, I'm just, just hoping to, to keep as busy as, 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 I, as I can be while, while on the plane. And then I'll get there, I'll work out right away, try and get the water out of me, and then drink some more. I'm going to try and put down three to four gallons up until the, the weigh-ins day. And how, uh, how long is the flight for you from uh, California to Poland? I'm not even sure yet. I think my wife booked it. I think I, I take off at 10 and land in Poland at 5 or something or 6. There. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I just 
I just work here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can always use that uh, phrase no, no matter what happens. Yeah. Um, do you know the time change at all? Is that, is that going to be much of a difficulty for you? Um, I, I don't know. I'll get over there and assume I've punched someone in the morning before. I've punched them at night. I, I'll figure it you out. You punch them 24 uh, hours a day. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. I've fought somebody all days, all times, all everything. Uh, I, I know it'll be on TV here at like 5 a.m. or 7 a.m. or something here in the in Cali. Um, but it, it, my parents, everyone that everyone that loves me will watch it. Right. That's all that matters. Um, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, Gustavo Pancho and my wife. Uh, we're only going to bring one of my kids this time. The, the flights were just too expensive to, to justify bringing all three of them. Uh, so just my little one that flies for free is going. And um, yeah, it's just gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a great trip. How do you see this fun unfolding coming up here on October twenty first? Uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I really don't know what to expect. I haven't had much time to, to really game plan yet. I just, I know I'm a good fighter. I sounds like he's a decent fighter. So I'm expecting a good fight, uh, a good fight in which I get my, my hand raised. So if all goes well, you go out there, let's say you get a finish, you get a really uh, impressive performance. Are you looking to fight again this year? Or are you going to take the rest of the year off and regroup next year? Yeah. If I can get two more fights by what, January 28th, I set the record. Nice. Yeah, yeah you, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to try it. Is there any particular card you'd like to get on? It seems like that Detroit card they have in the end of the year is uh, look, looking pretty stacked. Uh, yeah, I, I would love to. I'm actually going to go to that fight in Detroit. It's across the across the lake from where I'm from. So I'm going to get over there. I'm going to do a couple seminars during the during the fight, and then I'll go watch the fight. So if, if I get to fight there, that makes it even better. And do you have someone in mind for a call-out after this fight if you get the win? Uh... I, I still want Vitor. I got my Vengeance Tour in full swing. I just got to get him to say yes. So Vitor, Anderson, Machida, uh, Bisbing, those, those are my guys. A- any of the four, and uh, I'll knock them all out. I love it. Uh, last question for you here. Uh, what do you like doing on the plane? Are you like a guy who tries to sleep? I mean, you're going to be drinking the water, so you're probably staying awake, but are you trying to watch movies? Are you listening to podcasts? What would I find you doing on the airplane? Uh, I, I'm going to watch all the movies, all, all of them. Okay. Uh, I've actually stopped watching movies but because I, I I'm going over to Europe in the middle of November for a military trip. I'm going to go over and meet and greet. So I've stopped watching movies as they come out. So I would have new movies to watch on the way. So now I'll just have to watch them twice. Once on this way, once on that. I was going to say, that's a lot of discipline. I don't, I don't, I think I'd want to indulge if I were you, but uh, that's good. Uh, are you watching like newer stuff or are you watching like, are you like a classics guy? Do you like to watch like the, you know, eighties and nineties movies? Uh, I watch it all. the 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 newer stuff takes longer. So one movie now, uh, um, yeah, what the new movie now, uh, uh, wait, is like two and a half hours, where a movie back then was was an hour and a half. I know it was a lot shorter. It's it's like they had a formula, and you know, it's like we're gonna get you in and out of there in like an hour and a half, not even, you know. So yeah, it's just a lot easier. Yeah. What's uh, what, what's a good movie you've seen recently? What what gets the smiling Sam uh, two thumbs up? I saw that uh, the new Planet of the Apes, War of the Apes, or War Apes, or whatever. That was pretty slick. Never thought I'd cry over a monkey, but just just about did. Good stuff. Awesome. Well, uh, it's, it gets the approval. We definitely have to go check it out. We certainly got to check out this fight. It's UFC Fight Night 118 coming up here October 21st. Smiling Sam, always a pleasure. Uh, where can people get a hold of you on social media? And if you got any thank yous or shout outs, the floor is yours, man. Yeah, hit me up. I'm at Smiling Sam uh, on Twitter, Instagram, everything. S M I L E N S A M. Uh, thank yous to George Lockhart. He's helping me with this big cut. So is Dynamic Fitness. They're helping me with this big cut. Um, and my Team Quest, of course, greatest coaches on the planet.